flat. Yeah. yeah. And now with the clip and adding a little bit uh, of volume here, yeah, yeah. plus freshly washed hair yeah. works. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the next day I will use dry shampoo on the roots that lifts it up as well. Yeah. And then obviously it's all over again. And how do you, um, what is your background in beauty? Uh, well, the first thing when I came to the UK, it was 11 years ago, I started working for this um, sort of hair loss and hair extension clinic. Um, at the time, they were one of the leading places um, um, here in London. And I just got fascinated by um, all this, you know, transformations they were doing, we were doing. I trained um, a lot of, I mean, I learned a lot of things uh, there. I, I trained in um, um, hair extensions, a different system though. Uh, it was basically done with the glue and um, also the hair loss systems. When girls, you know, ladies coming from um, different parts of, of the world even uh, traveling, uh, were traveling there to solve the problem for example, after they had a chemo and they lost the hair, and the hair was just starting to grow back, and they just wanted to get the hair back. So it was a system based on uh, integrating the mesh and basically creating full head of hair while they're waiting on uh, on the hair to grow, um, or different types of alopecia, you know, um, genetic, well, caused by different reasons. And what distinguishes Tatiana from other hair extension businesses? Well, first of all, I think it's, uh, it's actually a few things, I would say. Um, first of all, it's, um, I would say it's methodology. Um, the system we use is considered to be non-damaging. It's very light. We do not um, involve any glue in the process of attaching extensions, which is a very common thing in the UK. is that I buy the hair from the supplier who's got um, their own what their own basically people working and traveling to all um, different towns small towns villages in Russia buying hair from people uh, it's it's a process will will when they travel to for example um, I'm from a small town as well they put a note you know in the paper, for example, advert or something saying, you know, we're buying hair, and then they arrange um, a meeting point at some local hairdressers at that particular day, particular time, and whoever wants to sell the hair, they're coming over to this place, to this hairdressers, to basically cut the hair and get paid for it. You know, we've got one client, she likes this kind of very strange stuff, so she's having her own hair, let's say, somewhere here, and she's having like. And have you seen the popularity of extensions of, of Russian hair and the techniques you use um, surge massively over the past few years? Uh, or is it still niche in your opinion? I think it's still it's still niche. Uh, the definitely there are more places and you can find a lot of places online saying we do Russian hair, micro ring technique, you know. Um, I've seen a lot of clients coming over with micro rings in their hair. Um, I've seen a lot of clients coming with, you know, with um, having Russian hair in their hair, you know, they think it was, and you know, and they paid money for it, um, but it, it's not. It's very difficult to find um, a Russian supplier who would be, you know, to, to work with. Russia is still very much on sort of more personal um, level of business. You really have to travel there, you have to know people, you have to work personally with them. You know, there is no uh, online, oh, I ordered that and that, that you know, that will work. It's, it's, it's not like that. If you want to get a good quality of hair, you know, and it helps that I'm Russian. Who are the celebrity types that you, you work with the most frequently? Uh, we had quite a few um, different ladies from all sorts of, you know, um, walks of life and, you know, different... I, I tend to not to distinguish between celebrity and non-celebrity anyway, but we had some famous faces, recognizable faces. We had, uh, you know, the, the Tower Girls, uh, we have Stacy, Stacy Solomon quite often comes here, she loves our extensions. Um, we had some TV presenters, you know, and uh, some people just uh, wouldn't wouldn't even want to be mentioned. Because my hair is very fine, I've never had nice It's so hair. hard to dye blonde hair and get it long, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it takes definitely. so long. Definitely, but I've never had that long and that long. That's amazing. Can you introduce us to your dogs? Oh, yes! 
strong enough. Come. This is strong enough. This is strong enough. He's a long coat chihuahua. Uh, he's a working dog, so I have two. His sister is somewhere as well. Um, if I say cookie, probably she'll come. Foxy, cookie! <gasps> Foxy, cookie! Come here, Foxy! <gasps> cookie, come here! Come here! Come! Foxy, come! Come here! Foxy! I think she knows that I'm not... <laughs> I, I'm not... Uh, actually have any. Yeah, so they're the brother and sister. Uh, they're four years old. Uh, yesterday it was Fox's birthday and three days ago it was strong enough. Like me. Okay. Um, but send me a picture. Yeah, Can I Email me do. a picture of your finished product. Okay, yeah. I will do that. I'd love to see it. You have quite a distinct style yourself. What are some of your favourite brands and labels? Uh, in terms of products or clothes? Fashion. Oh my god. It's, it's probably my taste will, will, uh, will make me broke sometimes, I think. Someday. <laughs> no, I mean, clothes, probably anything. Anything can be in clothes. I do like, you know, classic, very, very classic. Um, some modern British designers I like, actually, um, very much. I like Marcus Lupfer. I don't know if you've heard of his He does these jumpers with the embroidery in them. Oh, adore. This guy is amazing. I like uh, bags, very classic. Chanel, my favorite, you know, I have a few pieces, really. I love that. Um, and you know, for for every day, um, could be anything. Could be um, you know, Zara. They do beautiful stuff, you know. But once you get something um, amazingly tailored, you know, the dress, which could be probably a little bit more expensive, and you wear it once, you could see how different it is in terms of how it fits, how it tailored, you know, the fabric, the quality. So yeah, that, but those are for probably for special occasions. Dingy, really like dingy. It's kind of um, oh, I can talk about it forever. Sorry. 